Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this session we will discuss about how to calculate depreciation by written down value method. We will use this question to help us understand how to calculate depreciation on written down value basis. Now let us start with the calculation. First of all, we'll calculate the original cost of the machinery. As we can see that the machine was acquired at the rate of 1,80,000 and 20,000 was spent on installation. So, the original cost for machinery would be one lakh eighty thousand plus twenty thousand so this would be the original cost of the machinery on October 1st 2003 Now, the depreciation for this here would be as the machine has been used for half of the year, like you can calculate October, November, December, January, February, and March. So, only for six months. So, the rate at which it would be charged would be only 5%, uh, half of 10%. So the amount of depreciation would be 5% of 2 lakhs, that is 10,000. So the written down value on thirty first March two thousand and four. would be this amount and the depreciation deducted. So in the next year we'll charge the depreciation on this amount. So the depreciation for the next year would be 10% of the written down value amount. So again we can write the written down value on 31st March 2005. The amount would be written down value amount on 31st March 2004 and the depreciation for that particular year is deducted. Now we have to do this for three years so the last year depreciation would be 17,100 and the written down value on 31st of March 2006 would be last year written down value minus the depreciation so this would be the value at the end of the three year now 
what we have to do is to pass the necessary journal entry like in my last video I have discussed how to make journal entry for depreciation in straight line method calculation of depreciation the same process would be used for written down value also the journals as well as the ledgers of uh, machine account and depreciation account would be prepared in the similar manner so in order to avoid that redundancy in this video I'll finish this video here and hope you'll calculate and pass on the journal entry and ledger accordingly hope this video helps thank you for watching this video